Okay, so now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about how to solve logarithmic equations using the definition of, of what a log, uh, of logarithm. And so in this example here, to show you how this works, is first of all, we notice that we can use the property of logs to write this in, in a, a condensed form. Uh, we can write this as one log, okay? So if we write this as one log, we get log base 2 of what? It's going to be 2 times, right? Three x minus five is equal to three. Okay, now at this point we can use the definition of logs. Right? And how do we do that? Remember what a log is. A log is an exponent, right? So what's the definition of log is that, hey, if I raise 2 to the power of 3, it has to equal this. So let's do that. So I know that 2 raised to the power of 3 must equal the argument here, which is 2 times 3x minus 5. Okay, well, what's 2 to the 3? Well, that's 8. So I know 8 equals, and I can use the distributive property here, which is just 6x minus 10. And so now I've got an equation I can solve for x, right? So now, what do I do? I just add 10 to both sides and divide by 6, right? So if I add 10 to both sides, I get 18 equals 6 times x. And then divide by both sides by 6, and I get x equals 3. And that's it. And so that's how we use the definition of logs to solve a logarithmic equation. We use the property of logs to condense everything into a single log, where we have a log on one side and, let's say, a constant on the other. And then we use the definition of logs to solve. Have a great day.